world again. It's a red state. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today's a very special day. We're going to be wrapping the, uh, the A4. Super excited. Um, definitely been wanting to do this for a long time. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. Um, color I chose is um, it's a matte charcoal metallic. It's by Avery. Um, here, I got a piece of it over here. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it. This is what it looks like. Pretty sweet color, definitely, definitely pretty low key. That's kind of what I'm going for here. I don't want anything that sticks out too much, but I want it to be super clean. Um, gonna walk you guys through the whole process, start to finish, how to do it. Um, I'm not an expert. This is only the second car I've done, but I have a pretty good idea. And um, you know, a lot of people are pretty scared to wrap their own cars, but I'm gonna show you guys that it's not that difficult. It's pretty easy. So. Um, yeah, let's get to it, guys. Just to show you guys what I did already. This is uh, this is how the car color looks on the car. Definitely looks pretty sweet. Uh, can't wait to finish up the whole car and see how it looks. But definitely came out pretty nice. Um, still working on this side here. But um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and pull off all the trim. So pull off like this stuff here. Same thing on the back, and then, you know, this piece up here. Pretty easy stuff. Um, most of the time, they're usually just held on by some clips, so not that hard. So to get this window trim off, it's actually kind of a pain, but um, you basically just want to pull up on it and kind of pull it towards yourself while you're doing so, and then the whole thing should come right out um, I definitely I loosened up before this so it's definitely gonna be a little bit harder than that but um, yeah you can you can pull that right off after that and um, same thing for this back piece this back piece is a little bit harder to get off um, I ended up just taking a, a screwdriver and sticking it in there and kind of yanking it up so that it I was able to get this out All right, so here we are. Pretty simple. Um, gonna have to clean out all this stuff here, but um, next we gotta take out this piece of trim up top here. Runs along the whole side of the car here. Um, not quite sure yet what I'm gonna do with this back window here. I don't think there's any way of getting this trim out without actually taking this whole window out. So I might just leave it. Um, Seems like it's pretty easy to work around. You can tuck everything in there pretty nice. So, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But, um, to get this, to get this top piece here off, you want to make sure both your doors are open. And then, um, you kind of just pull down on it. There's, um, there's just a bunch of white clips holding them on. You pull it, like, towards yourself. You can see it's just these these white clips here holding it on pretty simple make sure you don't pull too hard so you don't break them Once you get all your uh, window trim popped off here, you're gonna wanna, we're gonna go ahead and um, pop off the, the door handles. Door handles are pretty simple. Um, there's a cap right here, this guy. Pop that out and then there's a, there's a screw in there, I believe it's a Torx T20. And um, once you undo that, they pop off pretty easily. So 
So once you unscrew the, the screw here all the way, um, you're going to want to pull the door handle out and then push it back in. Once you get this one out, you can just slide the door handle backwards and then it lifts right out. Just like that. Fairly simple. Next, you're just gonna wanna pull these rubber gaskets off. Once you do that, they just pop right off. Once you do that, um, you're good to go with the door handles. Just clean it all up really nice and then we're moving on. All right, now typically you'd remove the mirror next, but since it's got a blinker in it, it's got a wiring plug in that goes all the way down and it sits right behind the speaker. So since I don't really feel like taking the speaker out, I'm just gonna go ahead and work around that. Um, shouldn't be too hard, it folds forwards and backwards, so shouldn't be too difficult. All right, now that you got everything removed, you're ready to prep. Um, this is definitely the most important step when you're wrapping a car. If you don't prep well, then there's gonna be little dimples that show through the wrap and it's just it's just gonna ruin the quality. So you wanna take your time, make sure you do everything really well, go over, th go over everything, make sure that everything is perfect. And um, yeah, some people, they, they leave this step out, but I feel like it's pretty important because a lot of times there's like some oil on your car or something, some little dimples that, you know, just wiping it off wouldn't, wouldn't take care of it. You want to take your clay bar, it's just basically a glob of clay, um, and then usually it comes in a kit with like a bottle of detailer or something. So basically you spray the detailer on and then just, you know, rub the piece of clay around to get everything off the car. I'll show you guys. Alright, so basically you want to spray whatever spot you're going to do with your detailer first. In my case, I just got this this prep cleaner that I bought with the wrap, but it's basically the same thing as detailer. So just take your bottle of detailer and spray it wherever you're gonna, wherever you're gonna clay bar, and then just go at it. Now while you're doing this, you might feel like some some bumps and whatnot. So if you if you feel a spot where it's like a little bit of of uh, resistance, make sure you go over that a few more times because there's obviously something there that's gonna show through the wrap. Seventy percent isopropyl alcohol, people. No more, no less. This is the stuff. Just throw some on a microfiber, and then just wipe the whole car down. All right. The next thing, super important, you want to do is open up your door here and wipe off the inside of your door here because this is where this is where you're going to be tucking all your vinyl wrap right in here so make sure that's all wiped off really nice with the isopropyl and then uh, do the same thing up here inside the roof here same thing wipe all this off super well Alright, so now that we got the whole car cleaned and everything removed, um, what we're going to want to do now is go through and lay our knifeless tape. So basically what the knifeless tape does is you're going to lay it along these lines here, wherever you're going to be cutting the wrap. So like along here, um, 
So basically you don't have to run your knife across there and leave a big gash in your paint if you ever decide to take the wrap off. So we're going to be laying that all along here. Um, and then on the back door here, we're going to be laying it on the inside here, just inside, so that, again, we don't scratch up the paint. So the knifeless tape we're going to be using, made by 3M, um, pretty cheap, you can get on Amazon, most hardware stores have it too, um, I'll have it linked down below. Alright guys, once you get all your knifeless tape laid, like this, all the way down, same thing on the top here, and uh, inside your door jams here, make sure you leave like, you know, at least four extra inches of um, slack at the end so you can actually pull it off so it's not all covered up. Um, also, if you're having trouble getting it to stick, just take your heat gun, run it over it, and then run your finger across it and it should stick much better. Now everything's ready, prepped, we are ready to measure and cut our piece of vinyl and then we'll uh, get to wrapping. Alright guys, when you're going to go ahead and measure your vinyl, you want to leave about at least 6 inches hanging off each end because um, you know you don't want to take a chance of your piece being too short and then you know you waste like 12 feet of vinyl. It's kind of an expensive mess up so make sure you leave about 6 inches on each end and then uh, should be good. Alright, once you got your piece of vinyl cut, um, you're going to want to basically start on one side of the car, stick it to that side, and then roll it all out, and then you're going to peel the backing off once you get it, once you get it in place. Alright, once you get your piece of vinyl placed on the car like this, um, we're gonna go ahead and cut out where the doors are gonna be, so it's a little bit easier to work with. Um, let me show you on the other side. So basically, we're gonna be wrapping this top pillar, that back quarter panel, and the lower uh, side skirt here, all in one piece. And then um, we're gonna be cutting out where the doors are. So I'll show you as we go, it's pretty simple. Next you're going to want to start peeling off all your backing and get the vinyl in place and uh, get rid of all that excess paper and then we'll start squeegeeing. Alright, once you get all that paper off, then you're going to want to start stretching out your vinyl and really um, defining these body lines here. Yeah, then we're going to start squeegeeing. Um, basically when you're vinyl wrapping like this, especially a long piece like this, you're going to want to define the middle here and then work out each side so that you're not, that you're not um, you know, stretching the whole 12 feet, that you're just only, you split it in half so you work out from the middle on each side. I'll show you guys how to do it. Um, pretty simple. This is one of the harder pieces to do. 
because it's so big and you know it's easy to to get bunched up in spots like there it's already bunching up but as long as you take your time and work everything out it's not too difficult Alright guys, when you're getting ready to uh, take your knifeless off, it's pretty simple. You just want to grab on it and then like kind of snap it so you can um, get all this, all the green stuff off. You want to snap it, get all that green stuff off. And then um, basically take your string here and you want to pull it pretty hard and uh, all right, so once you get it started, pretty simple. I'm gonna have to touch up that edge there, but once you get it started, just basically pull it straight down and that's about it. All right, now you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove your excess vinyl here. Once that's off, you're gonna have these two, two green uh, strings here. So you're gonna take those out one at a time. That one's out. Next one's a little harder to get to because it's on the underside, but pull up the vinyl a little bit. Grab this guy. And then do the same. Voila! And tuck your edge in and look at that super clean all right next step is to get the door open so what I did was I kind of just carefully peeled this vinyl back so it was out of the way all the way along the edge here and then same thing on the bottom with that side skirt and then you're able to open the door pretty easy so now we're gonna go ahead and tuck all this stuff tuck it all in take off that piece of knifeless and uh, should be good for this top beam here Another uh, quick technique here, when you get to like around wheel wells here, um, there's a lot of tension in the film because you're kind of stretching it over a big radius here. So if you put slits in it like this, this removes a lot of the tension and it kind of allows you to get the film back underneath the fender here without kind of pulling at these sides too much. All right, everybody, camera died on me, but I finished up uh, that piece I was working on. So this whole top pillar's done. Um, hold all the knifeless out. Came out pretty nice. Um, finished up the back fender here. Just got one little piece there left to cut. But um, yeah, it came out pretty good. All right, so now all we have left on this side is the doors. Doors are one of the easiest things to do because they're pretty much just flat. Basically, we'll take that sheet that we cut out, we'll slap it on there, and then um, should be fairly easy from there. Not too difficult. All right, guys, as you can see, I messed this piece up when I was cutting it out, but um, it's no big deal. I'll still be able to do the front door, and then I'll just take that back piece and probably do the, the trunk with it. So just be super careful when you're cutting that out. Make sure you're, you're cutting the right size because clearly I kind of messed that up. All right, once you get the vinyl on the car, you're going to want to um, just try and do the same thing, just glass it all out so there's no like serious wrinkles and then um, 
just find your body line. So there's one up here, and there's another one down here. So you're basically gonna wanna work from the middle out. So in this case, it'd be the middle, would be along the car here. So you're gonna work half of them up and then the other half down. But to start, you're gonna wanna pull your vine up in each direction. So just stretch it out so it's nice and, nice and clean. Like so. Last thing, when you're um, when you're tucking your seams here, you're gonna want to go down this line, and you're gonna lift up the side with the slack, and just run your squeegee down, so you can push it in like that. So do that all the way down, and then once you're done getting all of it in there like that, the whole way down, you're gonna want to run your blade to cut it. But when you cut it, make sure you run your blade on the opposite side of where you're going to be tucking. So this is going to tuck around the door this way. So you're going to want to cut down this line here. Like so. And then it'll just, it'll tuck right in. You're going to give it some heat and it should curl right in on its own. And then you can just tuck it in. Pretty simple. All right guys, now that we've got the side of the car all done up, um, we're going to move on to the front bumper. Um, basically you got to strip everything off the grill, the, the fog light vents. Um, so I already went ahead and did all that. Um, if you want to know how to do this, just go check out my last vid. I'll show you how to take off the bumper and remove both those vents and the grill. It's pretty easy. Um, there's, there's five screws in the bottom of the bumper, a few on each side. And then, um, once you get that off, the grill's really simple to pull off. So, first off, we're going to clean this bumper up. Um, it's pretty gross. There's some chips in it. But, um, yeah, we're going to clean it off pretty well. Um, and then I think I'm going to wrap it in two pieces as opposed to one because I think it's going to be, I think it'll be a lot easier to do a piece for each side since there's no, there's no top piece there. It's kind of just like the two sides and then that small bottom part. So I think I'm just, I think I'll be able to live with the seam like, like right here somewhere as opposed to you know trying to spend the extra time wrapping the whole thing in one piece all right guys same process here basically we're going to clay bar this whole thing and then um after we're done with that we're going to wipe it down and then clean it off with some isopropyl and then uh should be good to go All right, once you get your uh, your bumper all clay barred, you're gonna wanna wipe it down with some isopropyl and then um, should be good to go. This, uh, this bumper is pretty beat up. Um, there's definitely some, some chips in it everywhere. The paint's all peeling and whatnot. But um, there's definitely gonna be some spots in the wrap because of that, but um, should cover it up mostly. Um, not too concerned. At the end of the day, it's going to look a whole lot better when it's wrapped, so. Alright, same thing. Once you get your piece measured out and cut, um, just basically place it on and start peeling the backing off. Alright, now you want to go ahead and try and glass everything out, you know, to 
define your body lines here so you can uh, you can start start working them out. All right, once you get um, once you get everything uh, glassed out like this, I'm gonna go ahead and try and find your your body lines here. So, like this here, for example, just try and um, do all those up nicely, define them here like this, and then work it in either direction. So above this body line, you're gonna want to work all this all this air out here, and then below it, you're gonna want to work it all down. Fairly simple. Just to show you guys here, when you have wrinkles like this on your edge where you're going to end up cutting, you really want to work those wrinkles out before you kind of, before you cut, because if they're still there, it's really going to, the film's really going to want to lift up and it's really not going to last long. I, um, I made this mistake when I wrapped my first car. I, um, you know, I kind of left stuff like this and just cut straight across it and then, you know, a few months later it starts lifting up. So you really want to make sure you like pull these tight. And, and really work them out before you before you go ahead and cut any of this because um, it can really decrease the life the lifespan of the wrap. All right, so this section down here is where it, where it kind of gets a little bit tricky. That's where your uh, your fog light is. Everything else is pretty pretty straightforward, but here. You know, as opposed to doing an inlay, since it's not not terribly deep and the, the vents are going to cover this up, you can kind of just work the vinyl in there. Um, you got to heat it up pretty good, but um, you can work it back in there and eventually make a slit in the middle and um, that'll relieve some of the tension and you'll be able to work it in there. Came out, came out super nice. Um, definitely love the color. Liking it more and more as I get more of the car done. Um, definitely gonna get need to get some wheels on this baby because it's looking pretty dumb with these wheels. But besides that, definitely love it. Can't wait to uh, finish everything up and get the, the grill back and the whole thing back together. Alright guys, that's going to be all for today's video. Um, if you want to see the car finished up, go and follow my Instagram. I'm going to be posting pictures when I'm all done. Um, I hope I was at least a little bit helpful for you guys. Um, Wrapping is definitely kind of a scary thing to get into, but once you start doing it, it's, it's really not that bad and um, definitely completely transforms the car. So, hope you guys liked the video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.